Okay, number two, and we've got a uh, um, 2010. Number two, um, we've got a uh, question that some parts of it will look familiar to you. Actually, hopefully all of it looks familiar to you. But um, a zoo sponsors a one-day contest name a baby elephant. Visitors deposit into a special box between 0 and 8 p.m. or between noon and 8 p.m., which is 0 and 8. Number of entries is modeled by a differentiable function. Um, e is in hundreds of entries. Don't forget that when, we're, when you talk units. Using the data, approximate the rate of entries that were being deposited at time t equals 6. Ooh, so what is the rate? That's e prime of 6. So we want to estimate e of, or approximate e of e prime of 6. Okay, so e prime of 6, approximately equal to, ooh, 6 is right in between here, so I'm just going to go e of 7 minus e of 5. This is the secant line over 7 minus 5, which is 21 minus 13 over 7 minus 5, which is what, 8 over 2, which is 4, 4 what, 4, Hundreds of in, 400 entries per hour. Um, 400 entries per hour. Okay. Okay, keeping track of my units there. B. Um, using a trapezoidal sum with four subintervals uh, by the table to approximate the value of this. Okay, well, let's take a look at this, what is this? Um, let's see, 1 8th, 0 to 8, E of T dt. Well, again, you don't have to do draw, make this drawing, but I'm going to so you can see what's going on here. I've got 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 4, um, Two, three, four, five, and this is thirteen. Definitely not to scale. Six, seven, way up here at twenty-one, and then up here at twenty-three. So trapezoid. These are going to be straight lines. Connect. Oops. Connecting these. Sorry about that. And to make trapezoids, because this really is a smooth curve. So I want to do this integral is 1 eighth, it's approximately equal to 1 eighth in the area of each of these trapezoids. So basically I'm just going to find the area of each one of these guys. Okay, so this right here is a triangle. 1 half, the base, 2 times the height is this height here is 4. I'm going to go ahead and write them on my picture. This is 13, 21, 23. So 4 plus this guy right here, area of a trapezoid, 1 half, base 1 plus base 2, 4 plus 13. Um, oops, I didn't write, need, mean to write it like that. 4 plus 13 times the height, which is 4 plus one half, base one plus base two, times the height, two, plus one half times uh, base one plus base two, 21 plus 23 times one, okay? And if you do that, um, uh, I don't have the answer. Let me pause it and I'll grab the answer for you because you do have a calculator to do this. You get 10.688. 10.688 what, though? Remember, these are entries per uh, hundreds of entries. Ah. So I geez, didn't mean to do that. I 
Actually, let's talk about that. What does this represent? Because that's the second part of this question. What does this mean in terms of the number of entries? Um, I hope you recognize what this is. This, this one eighth is, if this is my A and this is my B, this really is 1 over B minus A times the integral of from A to B of f of x dx. That's the average value of f. So this is the, oops, so this right here represents the 1 eighth the integral from 0 to 8 of e of t dt represents the average number of entries in hundreds oops um, the average number of entries in hundreds um, received right okay does that make sense um, so there we have it so that would be the same thing just graphically so you know um, I received the in the entries kept on increasing that would be this value that would make this area the same as the area under the curve itself okay uh, okay um, see oh you know what probably probably ought to include between 8 and noon. Just for completeness, um, since that is the context that we're working in. Okay, C. At 8 p.m., volunteers begin to process the entries. They process the entries at a rate modeled by a function P. Um, given by that, hundreds of entries per hour from 8 to 12. According to the model, how many entries had not yet been processed by midnight? Um, well, we've got P of T equals T cubed minus 30 T squared plus 298 T minus 976. Now remember, this is hundreds of entries per hour. 100 per hour. Okay. And... What is it that we're uh, looking to find? We want to find how many entries had not yet been processed by midnight. Well, this is one of those ones that, again, is like a lot of these is like, ah, until you see it, it's, it's, it might be a little bit confusing, but at first, once you get it, it's like, oh, how many entries um, at eight o'clock are there? Oh, sorry about that. It had to pause it and it might be a little bit choppy here. Um, so, <laughs> I can remember where, back where I was at. Um, okay, how many entries had not yet been processed by midnight? Well, how many entries were processed at 8 o'clock? Well, at 8 o'clock when we started, there were 2,300 um, to start with. So, we start with 23. Um, hundred. So if we're just talking in hundreds, there's 23 of them. How do I know how many, how do I calculate how many were processed? Well, if this is hundreds per hour, then doesn't this right here from 8 to 12 dt, doesn't that represent the number of entries processed from 8 to 12? So wouldn't this 23 minus 8 to 12, wouldn't that represent equals the um, number of number of entries not yet processed? Oops, no question mark there. That is exactly right. And if you do that on your calculator, um, how many will that be? That will be 23 minus 16, which is 7 
hundred, no comma in seven hundred, seven hundred entries. Okay, there you go for that. And then we look at D. D says, according for, to the model from part C, <clears throat> excuse me, at what time will the ent were the entries being processed most quickly? Um, well, P is the function that tells me the rate um, at which they were being processed. Well, I want to find where is the where is that a maximum? So I want to find the maximum P. Um, well, I want to find P prime of T and set that equal to zero. Well, let's do this. What's P P prime of T is three T squared minus 60t plus 298 and I'm going to graph that on my calculator set it equal to zero and if you do that you get two values for t you get t is 9.183503 again do not round or 10.816497 and you can actually look at your calculator and see um, you know, you'll be able to look and see if it's a max or min and that sort of thing by looking at the derivative to see is it increasing or decreasing. Now to actually find out, because they want to know, um, well, actually I take that back, that we can find out these are my critical points, but I also have to check the endpoints as well. So I'm going to go ahead and just do a quick little table to see this, to see which one what is the max, the absolute max. And so if I look at um, 8, I look at 9.184, I look at 10.816, and I look at 12. These are my endpoints, 8 and 12, and these are my critical points. And I want to see when is P of T the maximum. And if you do that, you get 0, 5.089, 2.911 and 8. So thus, um, the maximum processing time, or max, the uh, maximum, um, is it, I'm sorry, the, the, I'm trying to read this here. The entries are processed most quickly. When time or at midnight. Midnight, and that would be 800. It just says when, actually, doesn't it? It just said what time were they processed most quickly, so I don't even need to, I can say it right there. Midnight, done. There we go.